A home invasion suspect is dead after a shootout, and investigators are searching for his two accomplices tonight. Goldsboro police tell us three men forced their way into a home on New Hope Road Monday night. Investigators say the people who live in the home fought back. CBS 17's Robert Richardson joins us now live from Goldsboro Police Department. Robert. Marius, at least two people were hit in the Goldsboro shootout. That includes the father of a seven year old boy who lives at the home, as well as one of the intruders identified pol by police as 40 year old Ryan Germain Allen. Now, police have not said if anyone else who was involved in that home invasion was hit, as two other men got away. Now, officers found Allen in a wooded area near the mobile home, wounded from shots fired in defense. Goldsboro police say Allen died during surgery at a hospital in Greenville. Now, investigators say this started between 8 and 8.30 p.m. at the Woodland Park mobile home community with a break-in. The intruders shot the father with the seven-year-old present, and either the dad or a friend who was also there shot back. Now, I looked up Ryan Allen's criminal history, and I found out he is a convicted killer that he killed a man shot and killed a man here in Goldsboro back in 2007 spent more than five years in jail for that case he got out of state prison in 2013 got arrested again in 2014 for his involvement in an armed robbery spent a few more years in jail in that and in that armed robbery his accomplice was also shot and wounded by the person that they, they were attacking. And now, in this most recent incident, Ryan Allen died from wounds suffered from a gunshot by the person that they were attacking, according to police. Reporting live from the Goldsboro Police Department, Robert Richardson, CBS 17 News.